We have a black cat sun catcher craft kit. This says it includes one sun catcher, three paint pots, and one applicator. So here's the sun catcher, here are the three paint pots, and here's the applicator. This is a back and it says instructions. Use the paddle end of applicator to pick up stain. Let stain drip from applicator and flow into recessed areas. Use the painted end of applicator to apply stain to small area. For best results, wash your unstained sun catcher with warm soapy water. Rinse and dry completely prior to painting. Gently stir stain before using. Stain cleans up with soap and water while wet, but is permanent when dry. Protect clothing and work surface. Adult supervision is recommended for small children. Let stain sun catcher dry overnight before handling. Okay, so let's take everything out of this package. Here we have the stained glass piece. It's actually just plastic. Um, and I am going to wash this in warm water and dry it. Here we have the three pots of stain, black, green, and orange. And then this is the applicator. This is the flat side and then this is the more pointed side. Okay, I have washed and dried this sun catcher and I also got a piece of scrap paper uh, which the sun catcher is now on and we're working on scrap paper so we don't mess up the tabletop. And I am now going to open up these pots of paint and actually first I think I'm going to figure out what colors I want to uh, fill everything in with. So obviously I want to make it a black cat. So this will all be black. This will be black. And then the nose and the ears, I can either make those orange or I can make them green. Now the whole pumpkin is going to be orange. And then I guess the inside of the pumpkin is going to be black. And then this is going to be green. So I'm thinking actually you know what I'm thinking I'm thinking I'll make the nose orange and the ears green and it'll be a little bit more colorful that way but we'll see how it comes out as we go along so I also think I want to work from the lightest color to the darkest color so I'm thinking of starting with green for the green stem and then doing the orange and then the black Okay, I just opened the stain and let's take some of the green. They said to use this paddle thing and move it over here. And push it around and fill in the area. And that worked out, that worked out pretty good. So um, let's do the ears now. There's a little bit too much green in this ear. I'm going to try to get some of it out. Okay, that looks better. So next let's do orange, but I think I need to rinse this off. I just opened up the orange and let's do his nose before we do anything else. Let's take a little bit of the orange, put it in the nose. I'm using the smaller end for that. I don't know how this is going to dry, but we'll see. And now let's do the pumpkin. Just using the grab and scoop method. The color is a bit dark for a pumpkin.
Okay, pumpkin is done. It's all filled in. There's very little stain left in the orange. Next, let's do the black. And I want to do the cat first. I'm a little bit concerned that there won't be enough black stain to do that whole cat, but we'll see what happens. For some reason, the black stain seems to be thicker than the other stains. And what I'm realizing is as I'm doing this black, you're really not going to be able to see a lot of the features on this cat. Like you're not really going to be able to see a lot of the whiskers and stuff. And for some reason, like it doesn't want to come out. Trying to look a little bit like Boo. Now I have these really thin areas around the ears to do. I have this paw that I've been holding on to. I have this area here. This black, like, look, do you see? Look, there's like solid chunks. Like, that's not good. That's not supposed to be solid chunks. That's gross. So this black is definitely a disappointment. Not good at all. Oh, see, look at that. There was a chunk that just fell in the ear. Now I have to redo the ear. The other colors were so nice, and this black color is not nice at all. Okay, this ear got messed up also. Okay. I've just cleaned off this tool. I'm wondering if I could scoop the black out of here. Can I scoop it out? Yeah, I got a lot of it out. I'm gonna refill that with green. And then, what about the nose? I'm trying to scoop the black out of the nose without getting the nose in the black, if that makes any sense. All right, so these are all gonna have to be refilled in with the, the right color. Scooping the black out of the ear. Let's try this side. 
to keep the black out. Okay, let's see if we could fill in those areas again. There's a lot of black in here. You could kind of see how the black is not going to dry evenly. Yeah, see? See all those spaces on the black? I have to see if I could fill all those in. The black might end up being like a little bit lumpy just because the paint is just, the black paint is just not good. It's too thick. It has like solid things in it. And as the stain dries, it is going to continue to change and pull away. So I'm going to do this little paw that I've been holding on to. I'm going to do that black. And I'm actually going to do the inside of the pumpkin green because this black is just horrible. So let's finish this sun catcher. And there we have it, a black cat Halloween sun catcher. And now we have to let this dry for about 24 hours. So I am going to clean this up and put this aside somewhere so the cats can't get at it. And we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. I already see like some of this green running into the orange. I better get that out. Boo's watching. Boo, did you like that? Do you think it looks like you? It is now 24 hours later, and let's take a look at this sun catcher. Look how cute this sun catcher is. It kind of looks like Boo. And this is what it looks like on a window. The light comes through the pumpkin, and it doesn't really come through the black much, but that's okay. And it looks like everything looks pretty solid. We filled in all of the holes. There's a little bit of missing black along some edges where maybe the stain contracted a little bit as it dried. But otherwise, it came out really cute. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.